Hey everyone, welcome back to Arjun Reptiles and our YouTube channel. If this is your first time, please like, subscribe, thanks for being here, and hopefully you'll find some valuable content for both you and your collection. Uh, today I want to talk quickly about the power of hets, so double hets and quad hets, and how you can use, even though they're more normal looking animals, but how you can push your projects forward. So I would like to show off some new animals I currently picked up, they're still in quarantine, and uh, at the same time talk a little bit about uh, what the future looks like for the use of hets in furthering your projects. The first project I want to show off quickly is the DG Puzzle project. So this is a pastel male that's a 100% double head DG Puzzle and a female normal 100% double head DG Puzzle. As you can see one is pastel the other is normal and they actually have funky patterns that might be because of the head puzzle influence or also because they are uh, both 50% head cryptic. So I know cryptic has popped up in the puzzle project. We don't, I don't know much about it, but the idea would be to eventually make um, DG puzzles. The second project I want to show off is um, a quad het project. So we have a pastel chocolate quad het and a female chocolate quad het. And they are het for, that means they carry the gene for desert ghost, hypo, exanthic, and pied. And so, um, if you can imagine what it might look like, uh, I have no clue, but um, I know it'll be really interesting to see all the different combos that might come out of this. So I also have two males and two females in this project, and so uh, it will be really excited to see what super chocolate and uh, chocolate uh, combinations of Desert Ghost, Hypo, Exanthic, and Pied. So as you can see, those are two projects that we're using double heads and quad heads. Now what I like about heads is that um, one, you can get into a project at a little bit lesser price point, but also many of these uh, combinations have not been made yet, especially when you get into quad heads, meaning uh, no one has hit yet as far as I know. Well, there might be one person, but uh, I don't know if these this exact uh, line of Exanthic, but no one has hit yet DG Exanthic Hypopied. Uh, especially specifically using the VPI line of Exanthic. And so what you're doing is just stacking the odds to be able to hit it. However, though it is astronomical almost odds uh, to hit the four gene visual recessive combo, you can hit the three gene, you can hit the double recessive and even one genes with multiple heads. So how, what you're doing there is moving it forward. So even if you just hit a double visual that is Het for the other two, that's better than just four hets. Also, what uh, comes into play here now is the technological advances that we have really had in the industry in the last year, year and a half. That is with genetic shed testing. So we have two options for uh, shed testing. One is Charlie at Grey Rider, and the other is RGI Rare Genetics Inc. And you can send in your shed test from the baby, send it in, and have them tell you if it is het for the other. So say I had a DJ Exanthic, I send it as shed, and it is het for hypo, but it's not het for pied. I will know that now instead of having to wait years to maybe prove that animal out like we would have had to do in earlier years of the industry. So using quad hets, using double hets, and even double het triple head quad head males are now very valuable because you can technically breed them know which ones are heads or not and it comes out almost the same as using a visual so um, excited to be able to do this in the industry nowadays and excited to see these projects move forward I would love to see you know a pastel DG puzzle then start moving that uh, using that in other projects would obviously love to see any combination of DG exanthic hypo you know exanthic hypo being a uh, true growth project you put desert ghost onto it and then you add pied uh, for the contrast so all of these things are great options I just wanted to share this quickly with you all uh, always feel free to uh, ask me questions reach out I'm on Instagram YouTube I always love uh, talking about uh, what you're doing in your projects hit the like subscribe button and I'll see you next time